Hey guys, Ambance here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Night 3 on Five Nights at Freddy's 2, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Night 3, of course, is going to be the first night that's really going to test your reflexes because it's when the rest of the Witter animatronics, besides Foxy, activate the office animatronics, as I like to call them. Aside from Toy Freddy, Toy Freddy's the only one that you had to deal with before, and conveniently, he's also deactivated on this night. A lot of people don't notice. But Toy Freddy's AI level is actually set to zero for the entire duration of Night 3. So the first thing you're going to want to do, as always, when you get in, is pull up the camera and go over to Cam 11, the prize corner, and start winding up the music box. So the AI levels, I believe, of the Witter Van animatronics are set to zero at 12 a.m., but once they hit 1 a.m., they will start moving. This excludes Wittered Foxy, of course. So, yeah, you're just going to want to wind up the music box, put it down, Flash Foxy with the light a couple times. We don't need to check the vents yet because the vent animatronics have not activated and also even if they had activated I normally wouldn't start checking the vents until I heard banging in the vents which is an audio cue that plays whenever an animatronic enters or exits a vent. So when I hear that for the first time I know that the animatronics or at least one of them has entered the vent. Okay Foxy is gone now. Once again, make sure to uh, not use too much flashlight battery. I think I mentioned that last video. I may not have, but yeah, if there's nothing in the hallway, then you don't really want to use too much flashlight battery. It is useful to just use the flashlight like once or twice, though, that for whatever reason still seems to stall Foxy in some way, um, like stops him from moving into the hallway sometimes. So if you can, then, you know, use the flashlight like once or twice, but don't spam it like if Foxy's in the hallway, like I just did. There, see, no one there, so I'll just use it once or twice and then go up to the monitor. Alright, everything is looking good so far. So now let's take a moment to talk about the office animatronics and how they work. So when one of these animatronics enters the office, the next time that you put down your monitor, then you will hear a bunch of static. Um, it's different from Mangle statics, so don't worry, you won't get them confused. You'll hear sort of static and the lights will start flickering rapidly and the animatronic will be right in front of you. So here you have a very limited amount of time to put on the Freddy Fazbear mask that uh, many people may not notice, but it actually goes down each night. It's not correlated to the AI levels, but the time actually goes down each night. So I don't know the exact numbers here. These are in exact numbers, but on night one and two, you have more than a second. On night three, you have exactly one second, so on this night, you have exactly one second to put it on when a water animatronic appears in front of you, which, if you're doing the strategy that I'm showing you right now, which is immediately put on the mask after lowering the monitor, that's more than enough time. Don't worry about it. Um, so it does keep going down, and by the time that you get to night seven, uh, with AI levels set to 20, I believe, it may not even be correlated to that, it may be night seven in general, which would be really weird, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so once you get to night 7, it'll be merely 0 0.75 seconds, so that is a very short duration, of course, to put the mask on, and sometimes I even mess it up even with the optimal strategy. But, so yeah, this is why we've been practicing this strategy uh, on night 1 and 2, even though we technically didn't really need to that much, because it is going to come in handy in night 3 and every night after it. It's going to be something that you have to get used to, like you can do it without thinking about it. You don't need to consciously register that there's an animatronic standing in front of you if you do this every single time. And if you're trying to consciously register it, the amount of failure that you're going to see is going to be astronomically higher than if you get used to just doing it based off of muscle memory entirely. Oh, there's Chica, see? And here's something else that I forgot to mention. I'm actually glad that happened because now I can mention it is... Oh, Freddy's in the hallway. Um, yeah, so it happened again. See, so sometimes... It doesn't take you putting down the monitor for them to appear. For whatever reason, this happens a lot on 1020. It can even happen as early as night 3, like you just saw it happen twice in a row. But sometimes the animatronics just decide that they're going to force the monitor down also. So, every time that I'm winding this music box, the thing that I'm thinking the most right now, obviously I got a lot of things to juggle, like how long ago did I use the flashlight? Like, what was the last time I checked events? What was the status of the events? You know, stuff like that. I have to register that, but the number one thing on my mind when I'm winding this music box is immediately be ready to flick your mouse to the area where the mouse, the mask, sorry, is. Immediately be ready to go this. Every single time. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, the 
second that this current visual or this current audio changes, I'm going to immediately flick my mouse downward and put on the mask. Twice, if I need to, because you won't accidentally take off the mask and get yourself killed that way, because office animatronics being in the office prevent you from taking off the mask until they leave. So don't worry about accidentally doing it twice. So, yeah, you need to have these reflexes down. That's the most important thing about Night 3. If you have good reflexes, you shouldn't have any issue on Night 3. Um, I think Mangle may actually be deactivated this night as well, curiously. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I believe Mangle is actually completely deactivated on Night 3 along with Toy Freddy. So, that's two less animatronics you have to worry about. So, uh... Yeah, like I said, this night is actually really easy. It's just all about having those reflexes and being able to practice them and execute them. Uh, you're going to have to do it in a much shorter duration on later nights, so it is very important to get these down now. It's obviously one second's very short duration to do it, but it's still manageable if you mess up every now and then. So try not to stress too much about it, but always focus on being able to pull off those movements and always be thinking when you're winding the music box, okay, the second that this visual changes, because you won't always be able to put the monitor down voluntarily, the second the visual changes, you have to be ready to immediately flick your mouse down to the bottom left corner. And you always want to do it twice, just in case, you know, like they don't force the monitor down. You want to be sure that you can put it on. So always flick it down twice like that. And always be ready to do that. Don't just be ready to do that like, okay, you know, I'm ready to exit the monitor. Now I should get ready to do that. You always have to be thinking, the second that this visual changes, I'm going to instinctively react by immediately flicking my mouse downward. And it is going to feel unintuitive at first, and there's potential that you could die on this night a lot if you're brand new to the game. But once you get it down pat, like, there's really nothing to worry about. Um, it just, it becomes so natural, the reflex becomes so natural that you don't even have to consciously think about it. And that's really the goal of FNAF 2, I think. I almost died there. <laughs> if this was 1020, I would have died there. But that's really the biggest thing about FNAF 2, is being able to practice repetition. FNAF 2 is possibly the most repetitive game in the series, and I don't mean that in a bad way, not at all. But when you're playing at a competitive level, it's all about repetition in this game. And that's really what you need to be able to learn, so... It's 6 a.m., so that is going to be it for this guide. Remember, guys, practice that repetition. Be sure to watch my mouse movements. Watch this guide once again. Uh, if you need to kind of see the mouse movements, pay attention to them, see how I move, whatever. But anyway, it shouldn't take too much effort. You guys should be able to get it down pretty easily. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it helped you, and I will see you in the next one.